Hey, what's going on guys? In this video I'm gonna show you how to run Scrapey Spider with bare Python without a need of using the Scrapey command line interface tool that as they suggest in the documentation. So just type Python and then the file, provide the file name and that's kind of it. And I'm gonna show you this in two kind of sort of environments. The, the first environment would be this one. It's an experimental Python development environment where you can run Python code absolutely online. It also supports Scrapey as well. So this would be the first example for those of you guys who don't have Python installed on their local system. Also, even if you're on the smartphone, you can still run, uh, run the code uh, by clicking this run button. And uh, the second environment would be my local Linux Mint environment. So I'll just uh, do absolutely the same. So you'll see the output in two kind of environments. So uh, first, let's actually grab the code from the scrapey documentation here. So just simply select all the stuff and copy it and just paste over here and in order to run the code I need simply to uh, press control shift enter and just click the run button in the in the below there but uh, now nothing happens and why that's because we've just defined the class and we didn't really specify any logic to run our spider so in order to do that we need to, to do the following things basically so first we need to say from scrapey dot crawler import what is known as the crawler process Crawler process like this, and then at the very end here we need to specify the crawling logic itself. So let's create the instance of the crawler process. I can simply say process equals uh, crawler process like this. So we've just created a constructor by using this parenthesis, and then we simply can say process dot crawl. And the crawl method would take the spider name we want to crawl as the argument in our case. This is the quote spider, so just copy this here and paste it over here. And the last thing to say is actually process.start, and this is kind of it. So I'll, I'll provide a little commentary line here saying run spider or scraper, doesn't matter. So if I just uh, uh, try to run the code one more time, then suddenly we see that the scrapey uh, uh, has been invoked. It locks all the stuff as it usually do. And also here we have our text being uh, yielded, yielded to the output. So that's kind of it. And now let me show you absolutely the same thing, how it works on my local Linux min environment. So just grab the entire code here and then I just simply create a file called uh, well, spider.py and I just paste the code in and just simply invoke in my terminal in the current working directory where I currently am. And here if I simply say Python 3, well I have Python 3 uh, here, you can use Python if you have the only Python. So Python 3 spider.py and basically we have absolutely kind of the same result so the scrapey has been invoked and it just did process all the stuff and extracted the data okay guys so this is it for this video i, I hope that you've learned something interesting out of this so until next time and take care